In this video, we're going to be putting the artificial intelligence algorithm ChatGPT to the test to see how well it works for finance professionals in Excel. In this test, we'll see if ChatGPT can correctly calculate the daily returns of a stock and the annual return of a stock in Excel. I've created a solution here, which is for Delta Airlines stock prices with one year of stock data. This is um, going from 118 of 2022 all the way to 118 of 2023, the stock prices at the end of each day are in column B. To calculate the daily returns, I just took the, the price at the end of one day, divided by the price at the end of the previous day and subtracted by one, and then I double clicked this corner cell to shoot the formula all the way down. To calculate the annual return, it was simple. I just took the last stock price, so the final stock price divided by the price from the first date and divided by the price from the first date and that gives you the annual return. Let's see if ChatGPT can come up with the same result. Here's what I'm telling it to do. I've wrote it out in advance. So in Excel, there are daily stock prices in cell B2 to cell B253. The oldest prices are above the most recent prices. This represents exactly one year of stock prices. Calculate the daily returns and annual return. So I tried to be as specific as possible. So I'm going to paste it in here and hit enter. Sometimes this takes a little while. Okay, right away. To calculate the daily returns, you can use the formula today's price minus yesterday's price divided by yesterday's price. You can use the following formula in cell C2. Okay, that's looking good. Although I think it's I think that it believes that the old that the oldest prices are a, below the most recent price. So it's got it backwards. So this would give us the incorrect answer. So if we do this literally as it says, that it says these are the daily returns, but it's it's actually got it backwards. It should be, see on 119, that should be a negative return. It has it as a positive return. So if we just flip this around and said B3 minus B2 and divided by B2, it would have gotten it correctly. So I'm gonna say it failed this one, um, but it, it generally had the right idea. As for the annual return, it again had the exact right idea. It just had it backwards. So if we take its literal solution right there, B2 minus B253, it's assuming that the oldest data is at the bottom, which is not the case. So it's going to tell us a positive 3% return when really we know that it should be about a negative 3% return. So it was close, but ultimately it failed. Similar to the last test, we're going to be using one year of DAL, so Delta Airlines stock prices starting at 118 of 2022, but we're also going to use uh, one year of American Airlines stock prices. So we've got them both lined up by date. We're going to pretend we're performing some sort of linear regression on the two. So we want to find out their correlation, the slope and the intercept of a linear regression between the two. This is my solution. I just use the inbuilt Excel formulas. Uh, this is for correlation. The next one, slope, is just equal slope. And we're assuming that um, Delta Airlines is the dependent Y variable and American Airlines is the independent X variable. Let's see how ChatGPT does. So I've written out exactly what I want ChatGPT to do. And let's put it into uh, ChatGPT and hit enter. So to perform a linear regression in Excel on the two stocks, you can use the slope and intercept functions. Okay, that's looking good. Along with the correlation, so correl function. Wow. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. So let's take that function. I think it's going to get this one right. Okay, yep, right answer. And slope, I think that's exactly what I wrote. There we go. And let's try intercept. And see, yep, those are exactly the same. Wow, okay, that was that was definitely impressive. This is a bit of a more advanced test. We're gonna ask ChatGPT to calculate the price of a stock based on the dividend discount model. Here's the solution I created. So basically we have uh, four years of dividends. The first year is paying $8, then the second year the dividend is $10 and so on. The last year includes uh, the final dividend and the price of the stock at the end. I calculated the present value of each one by taking that dividend of that year 
dividing it by one plus the rate of return. This is the required rate of return based on the risk and putting it to the exponent of the number of years. Don't worry if you don't know how the dividend discount model works. It's just, this should be the answer. Let's see if it can come up with that. I've wrote down in here, this is what we want it to do. Perform a dividend discount valuation in Excel. The annual returns are in cells B2 to B5. The required rate of return is in cell E2. Calculate the present value of the stock. So I'm going to paste this into here. Let's see what it tells us to do. Okay, to perform a dividend discount valuation in Excel, you can use the PV function. Okay, yeah. Uh, PV function calculates the present value of the investment, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's see. If we use this function here, it might even give us a more simple solution. Okay, it's saying it's worth negative eighty dollars. Let's let's see where it went wrong. So rate. So it's saying that's the rate, and then this is the number of period. <laughs> this is the payment future. Okay, yeah, this is a horrible solution. Okay. That is a major, major fail on the part of ChatGPT. <laughs> During that last test, ChatGPT really wanted to use the inbuilt Excel NPV function in a place that it shouldn't be used. So I thought, why don't we give ChatGPT the opportunity to use it correctly? And so we'll do that with an example of a project that starts today at time zero and goes four years in the future. We'd have to pay $500 to get into this project, but then it would give us positive cash flows the next four years that we see here. We want to determine if we should accept or reject that process based or that um, project based on the required rate of return of 3%. Here's my solution. I'm just using the inbuilt Excel NPV function. Um, so I'm taking that negative cash flow at the beginning and then I'm using that NPV formula and these cash flows with the required rate of return. It gives me this IRR and because that value is higher than what we require, we accept the project. Now let's see if ChatGPT can handle this test. So we're telling it in Excel, we have years in cells B3 to B7 and cash flows in cells C3 to C7. Row three is year zero. We also have the required rate of return in cell C9. Calculate the NPV and the IRR of the cash flows using Excel formulas. Then tell us if we should accept or reject the project. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste this into ChatGPT3. All right. So it's telling us what to do in words. Okay, there it gives us this NPV formula, but I don't think it's gonna work because I think it's assuming that year zero is actually year one. Yes, so it was close, but it wasn't exactly correct. I think it's doing the same for IRR, but IRR might actually be fine. So let's do this. So yes, so NPV is off because it was it should put that year zero outside of the NPV calculation. Be, um, it actually included it in the NPV, but that was actually really close. IRR was correct. And then it's saying, it's giving us the IRR rule. So if NPV is negative or IRR is less than the required rate of return, you should reject the project. So that was actually pretty good and i would say generally that was a pass even though it wasn't exactly correct the results of those tests were a bit of a mixed bag some were pretty impressive and others would have just were just blatantly incorrect um i wouldn't take anything that it gives you as a gospel without doing testing on the solutions but i'm excited to see where it goes in the future i think our jobs are safe for now but we'll see